All right, Freddie. What we're going to do here is me and Nicole are going to show you all the exercises that you need to do. And so you can just refer to this anytime that you need to. First, we're going to go through the warm-up stuff. And you're going to do all of this warm-up stuff uh, for about 10, 12, 15, 20 reps. I'll call out the repetitions for you. I'm also going to have it written down. First drill is called the prisoner squat. You need the hands behind the head, feet set up about shoulders width apart, and sit back into your hips. So drive back, a little pause at the bottom, and then fire up and through. Give them a little profile view of that, Nicole. Turn around to the side. Focus on keeping your elbows up, Fred, and drive your hips back. See the way her knees don't go past her toes. She really sits back into the hips. Keep the heels down. Great. All right, Nicole, face me. Next up is going to be, and you'll do about 12 prisoner squats. Then we'll go into some seal jumps. Start with the hands and feet together. Right, nice like a jumping jack, but the arms past the torso. We'll go 25 seals. From there, we'll go right into a reverse lunge and reach. So Nicole's gonna stride back. Now remember, it's the same arm going back, so you're getting a big stretch on the back leg. Good, show them that from a profile real quick, Nicole. Same arm, same leg, big, big stretch. Take some balance, as you can see. Big, big stretch on the back leg. Good, give me the other side, Nicole, one time. Keep your torso up nice and tall, good. From those, we're gonna go into the uh, dynamic stuff. So Nicole, back up a little bit, show them a rotational lunge walk, turning only over the front leg. Right, nice and slow on that turn, Fred. Make sure the knee is over the heel and rotate. Keep that chest up. Do about 10, 12 paces of these, of these or across your backyard. Good, okay, Nicole, turn around and show them the Frankenstein. Arms are out and just gonna kick that leg up, stretching the hamstring. Okay, and once again, you'll do those like across the yard or for about 10, 12 reps. Up next are the figure four. Gonna lay that knee, uh, the ankle down across the knee and sit back into the hips, keep the chest up. Keep your heel down, sit back into those hips. Good, same thing, you're gonna do these right across the yard. Okay, next up will be the Spider-Man. You get down into a push-up position, and in one motion, you're gonna bring the arm around and drop the back knee towards the ground and drop the inside arm, good. And then the other side, same arm, same leg, come off the ground, good. One more, Nicole, chest out, and drop those hips. Great, you do about 12 Spider-Mans. Okay, that's gonna conclude the warm-up stuff. From there, we're gonna go into your core work. First up is a plank. Now, I want you to do about two of these, resting in between, but you're gonna do about 20 to 30 seconds. Get your butt down a little bit, Nicole. Right, you got that nice neutral spine posture. See how her back's not arched too much? Brace the core tight like someone's gonna punch you in the stomach. Okay, Nicole, good. And again, that would be for about 20 seconds each, two times. Then we'll go into some bird dogs. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists, your hips are over your knees, and we're just gonna take turns real slow, extend one arm in the opposite leg. Not that high, Nicole. Good, you don't want your lower back to move. And you're gonna do about 12 of these. Remember, nice and slow, Fred, make sure these are coming from your core, all right? Not just throwing the arm and leg. Next up is a single leg bridge. We're gonna flip you over on your back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift one leg off the ground, toes up, remember, of the leg that's on the ground, and we're gonna drive the heel into the ground and lift the hips up. Pull that knee back towards you a little more, Nicole. Good, and down, and again, you're gonna drive up and down. And you would do about 10 of those per leg. After the single leg bridge, we got the side lying leg raise. So everything turns on the side, lie down completely long and straight, and you're gonna take that top leg up Hold it there, Nicole, for a second. About 45 degree angle, and I want you to notice how she's got her toe turned down at the top. Turn the toe, oh, open the toe up, Nicole. We wouldn't want to see that, okay? We want to keep the toe turned down. Go ahead, and then lower that leg. Give me a couple of those, Nicole. And everything's coming from the outer thigh there. We're gonna to try to get the hips a little bit stronger. And here we'll go for about 12 to 15 repetitions. Like I said, it'll all be written down. And after that, we're gonna get a cone in there, and we're gonna do a single leg uh, reach, reaching exercise. There's a cone. Okay, set the cone up. We're gonna show you this front and then also from a profile. Okay, so what she's gonna do is stand, balance on the one leg. You use the water bottle when we did this at the house, that'll work too. Squat down. See the way that knee stays right in between both of her arms? It doesn't pinch in, it doesn't go out to the side. Good, show them a profile quick, Nicole. And I want you to really control your speed here, Freddie, nice and easy. You're gonna squat down. Right, put a lot of weight on your heel there. Keep your chest up. Great, and this will really help you with the sprinting and running because it's gonna get the hips a lot stronger. Okay, next up we got Nicole in push-up position. Pick your chin up a little bit, Nicole. Keep that back nice and flat, just like a plank, and nice and easy, Fred, down under control, pause, and then drive up and through. One more, Nicole. Nice and easy down, and then drive up and through. And we're gonna wanna see about anywhere between eight and 10 of those guys, all right? 
All right, Fred, we've got ours anchored a little bit lower. When you get the band, you can anchor it to your trampoline. What you want to do on this one is bend your knees a little bit, sit your hips back, and really pinch the shoulder blades together to lead the pull, and then let the arms out. Don't try to just tug with your arms. Try to use that upper back as much as possible. Okay, and we're going to do about 10 to 12 of those, and those are the band rows. And now we'll just set up for a quick band rotation. All right, Fred, once again, just want to point out that you would want this a little bit higher anchored to say your trampoline, so it's about uh, shoulder height. And what she's gonna do, knees are uh, slightly bent, feet apart. She's going to her right, so her right hand is grabbing it first, her left hand is over. Good, give me a couple, of really rotate those shoulders and turn that torso. Good, brace the core tight, like you're gonna kick in the stomach, come across and through. And we're gonna do about 10 to 12 of these on each side. And that concludes how we're gonna do all of the drills.